this is one of the finest baskets I've ever seen, this basket right here. This is one of Leona's baskets. It's a lidded picnic basket. That is a fabulous basket. You don't find any, any better split oak baskets. This is when she was put in the Smithsonian. Charlie Williams, a lawyer here in town, uh, he and I both supported our county fair. He said, you know, we ought to have a basket contest over at the fair. People had put baskets in our floral hall. You put crafts in your know, county fair. And people put baskets in all along. But it was Charlie's idea. We, you know, we ought to do more than just have a few baskets in the handiwork division over there. We ought to have us an actual basket show, a basket contest. Jimmy, I think it'd be a good thing. And I said, I think so too, Charlie. So that's, that's what started. And then, as I said, I was also interested because I'd always loved the Hart County baskets. I've got them when I was a child, my marbles. I had a basket of, when I was five years old playing marbles. I carried my marbles around a little Hart County basket. My mother had a Hart County basket. She kept her clothes pinned in out there on the clothesline, hanging clothes, the dry aisle. Um, so I always had loved Hart County baskets and had always recognized them. And I thought, what a great chance to try to draw some attention to our, our baskets. And then, of course, the issue about the getting people to take pride in themselves. Do your patients like coming in here and seeing baskets? They love coming in here and seeing them. And they take a lot of pride in them. And a lot of them come in, they've got family up there, and they love to point out so-and-so's basket, granny's basket, or mama's basket, or uncle so-and-so's basket. Yeah. And they like seeing the quilts, too. And they like it. A lot of the older ladies that had a 98 year old lady in here the day, still making quilts, talking about some of these quilts in here. She all got it. I couldn't get her, <laughs> couldn't get fit, taken care of her because she wanted to talk about quilts.